Here we are in Oban, a very wet Oban, and we're on our way to Iona, which is away over there behind the hills, the island of Mull. And I'm going to say hello, hopefully, to my fallen Christ sculpture and visit a dear friend. So onward and up. Left Oban Harbour on our way. So I'm going to Isle of Mull over there. We're approaching Mull, uh, first of two ferry journeys. It's brightening up, this will be a fine day. Ferry journey number two. Now you and Abbey there. And this is the Fallen Christ sculpture, surrounded by lilies, the lilies of the field. And it's very peaceful here. The sculpture was placed in memory of Jim Hughes, and unfortunately he died with cancer a couple of years ago. So the sculpture is in his memory. Here we are with the Fallen Christ in Iona. And what I really want to say is this beautiful lady who's standing next to me, her husband Jim Hughes, a member of this Iona community, was the mover and shaker and the inspiration, the spiritual guider and guidance. He brought this sculpture here. And it's through Jim we should be thanking for this. And I thank him fully from my heart for this placement here on Iona. Bless you, Jim. visit to Iona, very spiritual visit. It's not a very original word for this island, the whole thing just exudes spirit. The beach behind me is where Peplo and Cadell painted, and by Jove they captured the colours. But I just want to say after visiting the, the fallen Christ, um, my spirits were greatly lifted by the people giving me enormous feedback about it, and it seems to be liked and loved, which I hope with all my heart. It truly is a, a blessed place, and it's been my privilege to place a sculpture on this island. What a place. <laughs>